Look at that, that's a lot of books. And we are on to the second day of me not reading. Uh, someone save me, but I did this to myself. Complete tears, like lots of book reading. Go us. I don't know how we're doing yet. It's a race to the finish. How many can we get? Okay, I'm nervous. Oh, dad just went for it. <laughs> There's so much, you guys. <laughs> Today is Sunday morning. The TBR marathon begins. So this is my TBR. <laughs> this is my TBR remaining for the month. And we're gonna try to get through as much of this as possible. I also have my besties book. So I will be reading this alongside everything, but I will be talking about them in a video just for my besties. And these will be sprinkled. I think I had, did I have this one later? I put this here in this. Here, okay, I'm gonna try and move from this direction onward because I'm insane you guys I do also have three more books So I have to finish razor blade tears, which I don't have the cover on it But I'm reading this for my book club and this is the last section the final stretch So I'll actually be finishing it this video So you'll hear my thoughts on whether or not it's still a five-star favorite And then I'm also reading neighbors and other stories and I would like to finish this by Tuesday I think because I have the NetGalley audiobook. I am also reading Black Leopard Red Wolf, but this one, I don't have to read this this month. So I might put this on hold so that I can focus on the books that I have to get through. I feel like that's the smarter thing because there's no way. There's no way. I've got like 21 books that I need to get through. What is wrong with me? Anyway, the first one's easy. The James Baldwin, The Fire Next Time. Like I'm struggling to not highlight stuff because there's just so much gold in here. I'm shooketh. I'm embarrassed that I haven't read James Baldwin sooner. Also, I realize that I just assume everybody knows that I'm black. I am biracial black, by the way. So I feel like I should have read this a long time ago and I've been aware of that, but I've been afraid and now I feel foolish because it's so good. Uh, granted, I'm like only a couple pages into this one, but the writing is great. <laughs> so I'm currently reading my Dungeon Shook, a letter to my nephew on the 100th anniversary of the emancipation. And I'm gonna read you some of these lines because it's not spoilery. They're just these golden nuggets within this whole thing. So he's talking about a person and he's like, he was defeated long before he died because at the bottom of his heart, he really believed what white people said about him. Also to think that even when we now feel like, oh, racism was so obvious a problem back then. He says, I know your countrymen do not agree with me about this and hear them saying, you exaggerate. Because that's literally what's happening now. So many non-black people when hearing the black experience is constantly like, oh, you're just exaggerating. Like you're making it up. It's not that bad. And I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> I have privileges as a racially ambiguous mixed black woman. Even I have experienced racism and most people don't even think I'm black. <laughs> it doesn't save you from it 
and I've just gotten a teensy tiny taste compared to what other people experience. James Baldwin preach! Everybody needs to read this. Kiwi's like, what the fuck, ma? <laughs> like, I was sleeping. Why are you doing this? I'm sorry, babe. Yeah, I am shooketh. Okay, I'm having an issue with this book. I was not expecting. Also, I just realized this is my high, highest rated on Goodreads book. Not a surprise, not a surprise. The problem, this is not gonna be an easy or quick read for me. Also, my alarm's letting me know that I have five minutes till workout because it's got me all up in my feels. <laughs> I'm sitting up here debating and arguing concepts that are brought up so buoyantly in this book. I just keep stopping and being like, oh my god, this is such a good point, you know, because everybody blah 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 and like thinking about it to our time. Oh wow, my hair is a mess. I've completed my workout and I have started The Poet X. It's beautiful so far. I really love Elizabeth Acevedo's writing and just like the poetic nature of this. I know not a lot of people like listening to things in verse, but apparently I do. This is very enjoyable. And I'm going to listen to this while I do some house chores because I'm already sweaty and gross. Might as well make myself more sweaty and more gross before I hop in the shower, so. <laughs> dishes and cleaning the kitchen and I finished uh the poet x uh Elizabeth Acevedo is one of my favorite authors for a reason <laughs> this was this was beautiful I don't, I don't even know what to say it was emotional it was impactful it was beautiful it was <sighs> I love Elizabeth Acevedo, uh, hands down one of my favorite authors, hands down. Um, the two books written by Verse being this and my all-time favorite book, uh, Clap When You Land, are top tier for me. Apparently I really like poetry, but I like stories written in poetry, just not just lines alone. We have this story of just a young girl who has a very religious mother and just the general societal expectations that young women grow up on and hitting puberty and having to deal with uh, misogyny, losing your voice the older that you get and the more people want to put you in boxes. Yeah, it made me, it made me tear up several times as you guys saw <laughs> i got real emotional this is definitely a five star for me i need to see if there's anything else of hers that i haven't read because yeah it was freaking amazing um wow okay <laughs> I guess update on The Fire Next Time this was also very beautiful i really like James Baldwin's writing and it's talking about very tough topics and so I have been annotating a lot of it and 
it's going to be very slow going for this one. So I won't be finishing this now because there are some more chore type stuff that I want to do first. So I'm going to find the next audiobook, which if we go off of my plan, will be the love con. So we're going to have a quick romance that I can enjoy. And then I think we've got thrillers next. It's a race to the finish. How many can we get through? <laughs> while also still enjoying it because we'll we'll see how much I can do before I burn out and need a break. We'll see, we'll see. But I would like to get through as much of my TBR as possible while still, you know, having fun. So this one's going to be slower than I intended it to because I do want to highlight a bunch. I do also want to reread The Poet X and highlight and same with Clap When You Land, but that can happen in the future because... I don't have the time right now, but for now, let's go on to the next book. Yes. Okay. I just finished Love Con, and I think I have a new rom-com romance to add to my list of favorites because this was fire. <laughs> this was just the right level of nerdy, sweet, all of the good things. Our main character who is competing on a cosplay competition to boost her dream career basically and for the final round the judges spring on her and the other contestants that they need to do a couple's cosplay and with every, how everything works out she ends up enlisting her best friend to be her partner and to pretend to be her boyfriend. While all of this is happening they get closer for the camera and start questioning their own feelings and how they're they're going to move forward after the competition. Yeah, I didn't know I was a like friends to lovers kind of girl. Like I didn't know. And there's like a fake dating in it. I love me some fake dating. So yeah, I was here. I was here for it. I just love all of it. There were some moments that made me big mad. <laughs> I was supposed to be. It was perfect. I'm just yeah, this was a good time. We're doing good. That means the next one that we're going to be reading should be a thriller. Let's grab this. Ugh. Oh, damn it. I keep, keep dropping my mini books. Um, so we're going to start Like a Sister next. I did finish most of my house chores. I feel kind of gross at this point. So I think I'm going to hop in the shower, make myself clean, and then we're going to continue with lots of book reading. Go us. <laughs> But whatever, this is a good time. I did realize because I keep saying that I'm gonna stop being a bum and like get on my A game and then stuff comes up. Um, I was hungry, so <laughs> I decided to make myself some spicy AF ramen noodles or cup of noodles. Th these are so good. They're so good. They are spicy. Off topic, me and my family, we all like spicy, so we did the Hot Ones wing challenge. We have 11 of their hot sauces here. We'll be starting with the lightest sauce. One out of 10 in the hot category. Ooh. Pass that around and we'll wait until everybody's topped off before we take a bite. Oh my. Also, we're gonna see how long we can go without water. Obviously, if you need it, take it. There's no shame in it, but we just want to see. All right, first wing, let's do it. <laughs> very, very mild. A little bit after halfway, my um, face holes decided to not cooperate. So I was definitely tearing up and very snotty, which was really gross. <laughs> you don't want to go much higher than that. <laughs> Yeah. And we have four <laughs> more higher than that. So the that. Calypso is an eight or a seven? The Calypso is the seven, right? So this is an oh eight? Boy. Oh, this wow. Be and this yeah. is a um, hot uh, <coughs> da bomb. Yeah, da bomb. It's notorious. Everybody's all, everybody hates this one. <laughs> <laughs> but they're supposed to get tastier again after. Okay, I'm nervous. Oh, dad just went for it. <laughs> okay. There you go. 
Yeah, me too. Really? You guys like the flavor? I don't hate the flavor. Back memories. Tastes like pepper. And then my dad was stoic, and he's the white one, by the way. <laughs> the rest of us, we all have melanin. I'm like, who are you? <laughs> my brothers, they also took it like a champ. They're way better with spice than I am, but they sniffled a little bit. Like, their, their face betrayed them just a teensy bit. Mine, I was crying. I wasn't just sniffling. I was having tears, and I wasn't wiping it away. If you've seen the show ain't nobody gonna risk getting no spicy in my eyeballs hell no so i was just letting it drip <laughs> you guys are doing so much better than me <laughs> all of my face holes are dripping <laughs> i knew i'd be a wimp oh oh my eyes are watering so much <laughs> okay next one is the yeah, nine sticks away they Fire the joy? <laughs> That's the bomb. I don't taste the same at this point. I know! <laughs> I can't. can't. It's, it's, it's just, it's just Ooh. fire. It's just fire at this point. And so far, none of us have touched it's our water. Slept. It's not sleeping. I like that one, though. That one's not bad. I think it's a sleeper. Is it a sleeper? Maybe. Okay, so now we're getting to our 10. The last dab. So this is normally the end of the line for season 20. That's the lineup that we're doing. But we have the hottest one from season 22, which is an 11 on the 10 scale. That guy's over there. Yeah, there's not a four. There's two so fives. Why we have 11? And we have 11 because there's a hotter one that Wait, we, that so this was. Wait, this is 10. This is 10. So this is the Apollo, the last. The dab. last dab. <laughs> I hate and then we're about to do the experience after, which is also a last dab. Because the hot ones make their own hot sauce. So. We got everybody's feeling it. Okay, let's do this. Oh, oh. That one has a nice like taste. taste. Oh, you don't? I like it. Oh, I don't love it. There was like a, right. a kind of nice thing. That hit me up first. But like, I was taking it like a champ. I was like, it's not nearly as bad as I thought. It's just my face is betraying me. After the bomb, they're fine. <laughs> the flavor is eclipse. Now we're gonna do Pop One's The Last Dab Experience using Pepper X. So it says over 91% Pepper X, which is in the Guinness World Book records for hottest pepper. Or one of the Ooh, hottest pepper peppers. Pepper X is one of the world's One of peppers. the world's hottest peppers. Scoville 2.6 million, whereas most of these are just in the hundred thousands. This is great. I'm having a ball, but I am complete tears. Like, and I'm not touching them because I don't want to get pepper in my eye. So I'm just letting my face be the last step. nasty. Oh, the experience. Oh. <laughs> my mouth's on fire. Yeah, my mouth's on fire too. Woo. And we were holding off on our water. We're doing good. If I was on this show, I would kill it. Even though I'm yeah. dying. Don't get me wrong. I am dying here. It's your pain threshold. Oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Alright. Hold on. My mouth's on fire. Let's give us a second. <clears throat> okay. One, two, let's do it. Here we go. Mm. It's like the last one. I don't like the flavor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, we did it. So, so look, can we choose the one we like? Yeah. Go ahead. The caliente. Yeah. Now it's dinner time. <laughs> <laughs> we successfully did it. I don't think I need much more than water, though. Oh, you're gonna do the hotter one? Yeah. That wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be, though. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna start our next book, and then I will give you an update 
sometime. Okay, next book down. I completely forgot to tell you literally anything about this. So this is a thriller mystery situation where we have our main character who has just found out that her famous sister has died from an overdose. But the more information she finds out about that, she's all like, mm. but that doesn't sound quite right. And eventually she finds herself kind of pulled into figuring out all the crazy shit her sister was into that she didn't know about. And so she's all like, oh, okay, this is happening. This is happening. Okay, what about this? And she just kind of gets pulled in. It was enjoyable. I was invested. I just blew through the whole thing. It was a good time. I enjoyed it. I wouldn't necessarily say this is like an amazing thriller, but I did enjoy it. It was engaging. It did the thrilling things that thrillers are supposed to do. So yeah, I was here for it. We are making good progress. The marathon, she is marathoning. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to day two of this crazy TBR marathon where I am trying to read an insane amount of books in a short amount of time. So far we have 14 books down, 17 to complete. So I don't know. I don't know how we're doing yet. <laughs> it's not terrible but it's also not great. Uh, someone save me but I did this to myself. I'm actually pretty excited. There's a lot of really exciting books on the lineup. So far it's been super, super successful. I have absolutely loved three of the books and then I really liked the fourth. So uh, my TBR is banging this month. I'm just saying like your girl did a good job. <laughs> so the next one currently scheduled on the docket is another thriller type book. So all her little secrets. As far as I'm aware, we have this main character who is a black woman working at some sort of high end corporate job. And she is currently dating the white CEO or boss or whatever. And one day she comes into the office and her boss is dead. Okay, she's like, I'm the only black girl here and he's my boyfriend. They're gonna start looking at me. And I think she must have like some skeletons in her closet or something with all her little secrets that she doesn't want getting out. So she gets the hell out of Dodge and maybe tries to solve it herself. I don't know. I haven't read it. But yeah, let's see how correct I am or am not. <laughs> okay, tell the people how the reading has been going. I need a microphone. How is this reading going? Oh, yes. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing it's not an actual microphone. <laughs> oh, okay, well, thank you so much for your time. I think it is now uh, the perfect opportunity for us to start the next book. Uh, do you have any final words for the people? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you have been a wonderful uh, person to interview. Um, have, have a wonderful kitty day and <laughs> the people will see you in the future. <laughs> I'm a terrible interviewer. I love you. Okay, so uh, marathoning's not marathoning as much as I would like it to be. I am making very slow progress through all her little secrets because honestly, I'm not loving this as much as I want to. In general, I am interested in what's going on. I think it's written very well for the most part. I think it's, you know, like engaging, we're finding stuff. Like the general premise of this is great and I think people will love this, but I am very annoyed by the main character because she's lying about things that it doesn't it makes sense for her to be lying about, right? Like, I'm not a big fan of certain things in books, right? But I read some every once in a while where somebody's like, oh yeah, I have a secret I can't tell anybody. And I'm like, I'm with you on that. Don't tell anybody. I understand your reasonings. It makes sense. This, that, and the other. <sighs> We're only 80% into this and it's already noon. <laughs> The book is taking me so long to get through. Two days into this marathon and I'm already questioning whether or not I can actually do this. Let's see how it how it goes. Okay, so I'm making progress on all her little secrets and it's fine so far. I'm not necessarily loving it, but I'm also not hating it either. And so it has been 
nice. Like it's passing the time at least. And it does seem like it's starting to get a little bit more interesting, which is also nice. But yeah, I am pretty much heading out so that I can go to my doctor's appointment. I am bringing with the fire on high with me so that I can read that while I'm waiting. And then I'll be continuing to listen to all her little secrets in the car. Most of the snow has melted. Oh, it is cold in here. things is that they are quick as lightning. Okay, already time to go home. I didn't get very much reading done. I got there a little bit early so I assumed they wouldn't take me too quickly but they did. Now that I am home, let's continue with all her little secrets. Actually maybe I think I want to read a little bit of the fire next time first and then we can continue all her little secrets, so. Oh, also, I had someone ask me what the stamp is that I use to stamp my books. It's it's just a date stamp, a cute little vintage date stamp. I'll have it linked in the description for anybody who is interested. Then I can make note of what days I read what sections, because I just like having that information. It's very fun. that I heard in my father's voice, for example, when he realized that I really believed I could do anything a white boy could do and had every intention of proving it. Just seeing that makes me automatically scared for this child. That is the beginning of a horrible tale. This little black boy thought that he could be whatever he wanted and intended to prove to the white people that he could, and now he's dead. Like, that is the story. Whew, especially in this time. I mean, like, fortunately now we have more people who are able to step up and prove themselves, even if it's harder. 60 years ago, black people were murdered simply for existing. And so trying to show up a white person who already thinks that they are so much better than you. Damn, this whole thing, it's so powerful. Success, we have finished the next book, All Her Little Secrets by Wanda M. Morris. I actually ended up really liking this in the end. I was pretty annoyed with the character at a couple of times throughout, but it all makes sense and things tied together really nice and I like the way that it wrapped up and yeah, just overall, <laughs> I feel like this was actually pretty good. Not my favorite though. Uh, but that does mean it's time to move on to the next book. And because I'm feeling some type of way <laughs> about it being one o'clock already and only finishing one book, I think I'm gonna go for something a little bit easier. So this is Bronze a Book of Verse. This is poetry by Georgia Douglas Johnson, a poet from, this was 19, oh yeah, 1922. It's old, it's old, but I actually discovered her writing in uh, Minor Notes Volume 1, a Penguin's classic collection of poetry by black poets. And I read this last year and there were a couple of poets in here that I was all like, yes, baby. And I went and hunted down my favorites. And this was one of the ones I was able to get my hands on. The writing is huge and it's not very thick. So I imagine I'll be able to read this in like less than an hour and then we can move on to the next book. So, okay, as I sus suspected, I am flying through. And I will say for the first couple of poems, I was all like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't have busted out my annotation tools because even though I loved the one poem from the other book, 
I wasn't feeling it. I was all like, mm, I don't know. These just just aren't aren't giving me the motions <laughs> that the one poem that I'm thinking of really did. Oh boy, was I wrong. So that was true for, you know, like the first handful. Then I hit one that I was like, oh yeah, Desire, this one's kind of cute. I really like the way that they say this line. I'm liking it, it's nice. Then Sorrow Singers, beautiful. Very short, very sweet to the point. Hear the vile voices ringing down the corridors of years as they lift their twilight faces through a mist of falling tears. Pretty. Um, then we got the cross in prejudice. Now I'm just like marking off ones where I'm all like, okay, I could return to this and like really sink in and see how I feel about what's being written here because that's what I like with poetry. Then I go to Lao Kun. <laughs> now I'm like, okay, <laughs> this is, this one's good. This one's good. Moods, okay, whatever. And then we get to uh, Hegira. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. This is fire, right? It's like, it starts off with us white people are giving you all of these things. Why aren't you happy with all of these things that we give you? And then it's the response. It's the response and the response is fucking fire. And so, <laughs> so now I'm out here just like going through and just marking these off. I'm going to have fun analyzing these. These I do. I do like her poems quite a bit. So yeah, I'm just like marking off the ones I want to return to, to like heavily annotate think through. I do want to look up Hegira because I feel like if that like what what is this? What is that? Is this a specific thing? Is this relevant? Is this a person? Is it what? Right? Because it says you've tortured and wounded and filtered their blood till a budding Hegira has blown. What is Hegira? I need to look that up. I will. I'm gonna continue. <laughs> I will be back. <laughs> Okay, as I suspected, I did manage to finish this pretty quickly, and I really enjoyed a lot of the poems, especially kind of in the middle portion. The first section wasn't necessarily my favorite, and the last section wasn't necessarily my favorite since it was poems dedicated to specific people, and although there were some pretty good lines within them, uh, they just didn't have the connection to me as some of the other things did. Now, unfortunately, I didn't really take the time to fully analyze these, but I did mark a ton that I want to kind of come back to, and I did reread a couple of them um, right off the bat because they were so enjoyable. So I do recommend if you're into poetry, I feel like she has some really nice pieces in here. Marathoning away, that does mean that we do have two books finished and we are a couple minutes away from two o'clock. So we are making progress on this marathon. Part of me wants to read a little bit more of these. This is one of my picks for Blackathon. And then obviously I had started this yesterday and I'm just like slowly making progress to them. I don't think I'll finish either of them today because I am slow going annotating them. It might be good to make progress on that. I wonder if I should also read a little bit more of Razorblade Tears, but I think I'm gonna wait until later in the week. So we'll be trying to like finish up some of these that I have started. Oh, shoot, I realized though, I have to finish Neighbors and Other Stories by uh, Diane Oliver from the Harlem Renaissance because I have the audiobook for this on NetGalley and it expires tomorrow. <laughs> So I guess that decides our next read. I would like to finish this. I am technically annotating while I listen to the audiobook for this one. So it is slow going, but it's been nice. So I think that's what I'll do now. Hi, hello, some time has passed. It is still day two of our marathon and I have completed another book. So we have three books down for today, seven books in total. This is Neighbors and Other Stories by Diane Oliver. And this is a collection of short stories all by the same author. I feel like, I feel like that was obvious. Now she is a black author from the 60s, mostly the 60s it seems like. And 
were all of these published in the 60s? I don't know. And they range in topics and they weren't all what I was expecting. I know the first two I thought would be the tone of everything because uh, I, I, I think the first one was about the inter integration laws and things like that. And so I thought a lot of these were all going to be about race, but we had some like weird ones. We had some ones about race. We had some about gender. We had, so like we had a plethora. I really liked some of them. Not so much some of the others. It is nice because it felt like I was taking a step back in time, but like some of them were just like very different and bizarre and interesting and not what I was expecting. And I think that is really cool. I would recommend this. Overall, I liked it more than I thought I would, which is a good sign. <laughs> uh, but that does mean that I would like to at least start one more book for the night. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so it is Tuesday. It is 11 p.m. My day is over. <laughs> like long over. I should have been in bed hours ago. I don't know why I'm still awake. I've done zero reading today. It is day three of the TBR marathon and we've done no progress. <laughs> Tomorrow is the last day of my time off, so I will be starting back up with work and stuff on Thursday, which, not gonna lie, not super looking forward to. Why did my vacation go by so fast? <laughs> like, I know technically I only took two days off, but Monday was a holiday. Like this was a long weekend and it's already almost over. Like I'm heartbroken. <laughs> I am not ready. Uh, but yeah, today was more of a chill day. It was a more just like being in my head. I didn't want to listen to audiobooks or physically read. I was actually gonna try and make some progress on this stuff, but not really give updates until tomorrow. But that's not happening. It's so late at this point. Um, I am pretty excited about the books that we're going to continue tomorrow. I do also have to fit in video editing at some point because today would have been a great day to do that. But like I was just kind of heads down in like commenting. I was replying to comments. Also, um, some of them are super old. Like I'm really behind on some of these. I am so sorry, you guys. I'm terrible, which is so funny because like, the comments mean so much to me and yet sometimes I'm super on top of like re replying to all of them and sometimes it takes me ages. So I do apologize. I do want to say you're appreciated because you really are. You guys are super amazing. And I also had like a really, a really fun little like conversation with another booktuber today, which was really, really nice. <laughs> I need more booktuber friends <laughs> and I should try and reach out because I watch a lot of booktube like YouTube in general but especially booktube and I don't comment as much as I would like to because I'm usually doing other stuff uh, which now is happening less because I'm doing more audiobooks instead of just watching YouTube which is what I did before so I'm reading more and watching less YouTube which is good for my book reading, but not great for my watch list, which is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, or my watch later list, which just keeps growing. <laughs> I'm feeling, feeling really good. It's funny because I mentioned that not getting a ton of like views and engagement specifically on my vlogs and I'm all like down in the dumps and stuff about them, but they also tend to be the ones that I get the most like meaningful comments on. <laughs> And so like, I know they're worth it. Yeah, I was saying this to Jan and I was just all like, yeah, I know the numbers don't matter, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't care sometimes. Like sometimes it gets to you. And so, yeah, it's just, it's, it's just a thing. It's totally okay. I'll get over it. I'm still going to do vlogs because uh, every time I'm all like, oh, I'm going to take a uh, break from vlogs. I'm like, oh, I miss vlogging. So I'm going to start vlogging again. So uh, I imagine I just need to find out different ways to like really make them interesting and engaging. And I also need to work on my thumbnails. Like that's my thumbnails and titles. That's where 
I'm struggling with the vlogs. Like I don't know how to promote them, which is why I mentioned themed vlogs. Themed vlogs. Granted, I always thought like winterween. I've done several winterween vlogs and they never do well, even though I have so much fun with them and I feel like they should be hits. Like I don't know why people don't look up winterween videos. Like what? Anyway, I need to stop. I need to go to bed. Day three is a fail, but hopefully we'll be back at it tomorrow and we'll make a bunch of progress. Hello, loves. All right, so it is, what are we at? Day four of the marathon. And we are on to the second day of me not reading jack shit. But I actually think that's going to change because I am currently working on branding for Patreon and figuring out exactly what tier is going to get what. And I want to listen to something. I've been watching YouTube videos and I haven't been getting what I need. Like I need a full story that I can follow along while I'm working on this. So I'm thinking it's about time that we start the next book. And it's one that I'm really excited about. So I imagine I'm gonna get through this real quick. <laughs> We'll do that and then I will continue trying to figure this out because if you don't know right now all of my Patreon tiers which was originally three but is now down to two temporarily um, are all the same thing. <laughs> like everybody just gets the same stuff because uh, up until soon I have been kind of random about the rewards that I get to my my besties over there on Patreon. So I've been doing a lot of just like random videos, random updates, random, you know, this, that and the other. And based off of what I've been doing, I'm trying to solidify what makes the most sense for different tiers. So right now I have two of the hopefully three tiers that are going to go up um, in the near future. And one of them being the newsletter besties and the other being the book club besties because I do a uh, exclusive book club over there and a lot of different like TBR recommends videos and vlog newsletters and stuff like that and I'm trying to figure out what the best place to put things are because I want the cheapest tier to be satisfying but I also want the higher tiers to be more obviously because people are paying more. And so yeah, I'm just trying to figure out the best way to lay them out. Anyway, so I'm gonna continue working on this, start the book, and I will give you an update when I am into it. When I know when I know what's up and how I'm feeling about this. Okay, so we finished the next book. Today is not marathoning as much of the marathons that I wanted to marathon. <laughs> oh. This is actually one of my besties TBR picks. So I will talk about it more in their exclusive video. Uh, but in general, it wasn't exactly what I was thinking it would be. But I still ended up enjoying it for the most part, even though it wasn't exactly my favorite. Now it's time to move on to more stuff that I can share with you, which would be how beautiful we were. <laughs> oh yeah, this was the blindfold pick in my TBR game. I, yeah, that was very very disorienting and I have the audio on Libby so I am going to start that and continue what I've been doing all day because I am just in the mood to work on assets and thumbnails and things like that like I don't know what's gotten over me but it is a trying to improve this mess kind of day <laughs> so I guess yay me <laughs> Okay, so I should give you an update on how beautiful we were. It is doing exactly what the synopsis said. This is a story set in a fictional African village and it's focusing on the fear within the community because American oil companies are coming in and destroying the land and the people are getting sick and it's them trying to figure out what they should do to try and save themselves basically and so it's kind of those struggles. So far everything is fine but I'm not enjoying it. Like I'm not connected to any of the characters right like it's the it's the village as a whole and we're getting these tidbits here and there 
but not enough for me to care about them. But then we also have this main plot that is happening that we're following along as well, which I am interested in, but because I'm not connected with any of the characters, I'm vaguely interested instead of fully interested. So I'm not as invested as I want to be considering I feel like the idea is really good and it could be really engaging, uh, but it's just not gripping me at this point. I'm only like 30% into it, so I'm not very far. So it's possible we might get to a moment where things shift and I get more attached. But right now, I'm just going with the motions, right? Like I'm moving along. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a bummer because I think it's doing some pretty good things, just apparently not enough yet. But I'll let you know if that changes. In terms of the TBR marathon, we are now at eight red and 12 to go, which isn't great. Well, I need to make more progress. Hopefully we can finish this tonight at the very least. I wish I had more days off. <laughs> Why didn't I just take the whole week? I don't know. Why do I have to work? Um, okay, yeah, I will give you an update later. Good morning. It is early Friday in Houston. We have a problem. I only have two days left of this video and I have 11 books that I'm still trying to get through. Now, technically, I don't have to get them all done in the next two days, but I wanted to get a lot of them done, and I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Edit the TBR Jar Picks My Reads video, which is supposed to go up this Saturday, tomorrow, and deal with the fact that yesterday, my endometriosis kicked me in the ass. Like, it, Whoo! it did me real dirty. And this morning, I've got a hangover from that. I got a little bit still going on. <laughs> We're definitely crampy. And so, I don't know. I did start some books yesterday. We are, are still working on how beautiful we were, which mind you, I'm obviously not feeling as much as I would like to be. I'm just, I'm just not. But it's still early on, we can see, I just haven't been, really in the mood. And then I did start Lone Woman, which I was enjoying for the most part. It's just the setup at this point. So like, I don't know where it's going, but I had work and then I forgot about the book and got distracted with some other things. And then I did make some progress on modern Sudanese poetry pretty late last night, which was fun. I actually <laughs> ended up spending my cramp filled days <laughs> after work watching some of those really cheesy drama box whatever that I keep seeing ads for and the acting the acting is so bad <laughs> but I had a great time yeah so that's what I did yesterday instead of reading during the marathon week yeah you know girls really got her priorities straight <laughs> Um, also, I ended up putting the non-American black book haul video up. I did, I may have over edited it a little bit. I'm really happy with the TBR jar video though. Your girl is trying to improve her videos. I did go and update a bunch of thumbnails and I'm super happy about them. So I have been productive, just not on the reading front. And that's how it works. It's either I'm really productive on everything else and then I do a medium amount of reading, which is still a lot. I finished eight books this week so far, and I'm on two new books for this week, and I've made progress on two other books, and we're about to make progress on our last book because tomorrow I have the final book club discussion for Razorblade Tears for my book club which I'm so excited about. I kind of want to do something like that for my Patreon where it's like a Zoom call and we, you know, chat about the book together on Zoom and like have it be a whole thing. I don't know, that would probably be a higher tier because it would be a lot of work to set it up and run it. <laughs> Uh, and like I just can't have it be for everybody and I don't I don't want to choose honestly like I don't want to 
I don't want to be responsible for like letting people in or, or not letting people in. So I don't know. I'm already doing a lot. So trying, trying not to go crazy. I have also, I should, I really need to do a planner update because I've just been using, I would say this plotter planner, but it's technically a plotter knockoff. It's a woozy planner with a bunch of plotter inserts because the woozy is 15 millimeter rings and the plotter is 10. And that extra five millimeters is enough for an everything planner. Whereas the 10, especially on the small one, is really nice and satisfying, but it's just a little bit not enough <laughs> for what I'm trying to use it for. Like it's so nice having the small rings. If you saw my plotter, like why the plotters are the best. I technically included this in the bunch um, because the really giant rings, like it's really hard to, to write and update things. Anyway, I've been using this layout, this, where I have four days in a column and at the bottom I have my reading and then at the top I have any events or whatever and any notes for the day. So this whole section is events and notes. And then I started putting my content at the bottom. I've been rambling for a hot minute. Editing me is going to hate me. <laughs> but yeah, that's my update so far. I am going to, where's the book that I'm actually planning on reading? Of course I covered it. Um, I'm actually planning on reading some of Razor Blade Tears because I want to get that done early so I'm not worrying about it tomorrow. And then we're just gonna see what we see and see where we go. And then I also have to edit some, there's so much you guys. So apparently I need to stop telling you the plan cause I can't keep up with the plan. <laughs> I did some video editing and then I was ready to kind of take a break and go on to reading and instead of reading any of the books that I am currently in the middle of reading I decided to start a new one so I have picked up the neighbor favor and this is basically about a young woman who starts emailing a author that she really 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 likes and they end up on correspondence for a while and basically becomes friends until randomly things kind of fall off and she doesn't know why and then eventually she gets this new neighbor who after having some interactions gets all weird and standoffish but she decides because she's desperate to get a date to her sister's wedding and since he successfully helped two of their other neighbors go out she decides hmm I'm gonna ask you for advice like you gave him great advice maybe you can give me great advice for the most part this is really cute I really am enjoying it except that he has a big secret and it's stupid it's stupid and we're going to just sit here and have them be cute together and I'm just gonna be annoyed that he's lying to her about this whole thing that isn't necessary. There's not a really good reason or excuse for it. I know we're trying to get some backstory because his life was rough and blah 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 blah. But it's hard to fully get on board when I'm all like, dude, <laughs> just tell her. And so yeah, that's that's where we're at. But overall, I am still enjoying it regardless. I, I do like their chemistry in general. Things are fun so far. Anyway, work is about to start. So I'm gonna have to switch gears. We're gonna, uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, <laughs> skirt. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna take a little break here and I'm going to work. I don't know how much reading I'll be doing at that time because I have meetings. I have meetings and I can't read while I do meetings. So I will catch up with you later. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so it is Friday evening. I did manage to finish The Neighbor Favor and it was enjoyable. I didn't love it as much as I thought that I would. Like I wanted to love it so much more and it had a lot of elements that I really liked but it just didn't take me there entirely. I have gone ahead and started the next book. We still have a bunch of books that need to be finished that I'm not touching so why not work on a new one? Um, so I started Vagabonds and I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know what's going on. Like I'm confused. There are some pretty interesting things that are happening and directions and 
things, there's creepy things, there's, you know, trigger warning things, uh, you know, death, destruction, just all of this random stuff going on. And then there's demons and romance and <laughs> murder and there's just a little bit of all kinds of random things and they just feel so very random so very random like there was a, a, a scene that happened early on where it was just like oh blah 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 and then you know this thing happened and I was like wait what just happened and then I was like oh by the way that's your friend and I'm just all like wait I'm confused <laughs> did that actually happen and then I don't know it's just not clear to me yet what the point is which means it's not necessarily my cup of tea, which is a bummer because I don't necessarily think there's anything wrong with it, but I'm struggling to care and stay focused because I, I really like stories that either have a character that I'm very engaged with or that has a plot line that I can hold on to and that will connect all of the weird things like something it doesn't even have to be the whole thing but there has to be some thread that is keeping me gripped so that I can learn all these random things and have them connect there's n no rhyme or reason aside from everybody is vagabonds as far as I can tell and vagabonds is a huge array of different types of people um Oh, and here it doesn't list all of them. It says some of them. So you've got the queer, the displaced, the footloose, and the rogue spirits and things like that. And there is this interesting, you know, like spirit element to it that I do like. And then there's you know, just different stories. And some of them I do like. There are some elements that I think are pretty cool, but I'm still, I'm just confused so far. So that's not looking great, but I am currently reading it. I have finished my work stuff for the day. Although I am trying to make sure that everybody has everything that they need. Um, so I'll address stuff if anything changes. But for the most part, I should be finished for the day. So I can just continue this. I'm also brainstorming and working on more Patreon reward type stuff. And also thinking about updating the TBR game, which keeps getting modified. Like, TBR game 2.0 in my brain. I've gone through a bunch of versions and I think I do want to do one that is similar to how I'm playing the game now, but that is updated and designed in a way that better reflects the way that I play the game. So that's kind of what I think I'm going to focus on first. And then I have some just like completely different ideas that I have no clue if or when I'll get around to doing them because they're a lot bigger ideas. But if you have things that you're like, yeah, I would love it if you did this, that, or the other, let me know because I'm, I'm brainstorming and working on projects right now. So all the feedback and ideas were open. Okay, so we got something that kind of tied things in a little bit and I appreciate what it's doing. I do kind of wish that came a little bit sooner and had a stronger element to kind of tell you why this all matters. It's obvious, but it also didn't feel super obvious, but I do really like a lot of what's happening. I just wish there there was something that tied everything together a little bit more because it feels very fragmented in a way that I don't always love myself, but I'm not hating it. Like I am enjoying several bits. I just don't love all of the pieces. Okay, so I finished this a little while ago and I've just been kind of sitting on my thoughts for it. And I, I like it in the general sense, but I don't know 100% how I feel about it overall. Like there are some parts of it that I arguably loved. But then I struggled to stay invested at times and I don't know how I feel about, I don't know, it's weird because part of me is all like, yeah, this was actually really good. I really liked it. And then another part of me is all like, yeah, but you were struggling or like, what was the point of this? Or, you know, why'd they do it like that? But I still liked it. So, 
yeah, I guess this is like a really high three stars or a low four stars. I ended up really liking this way more than I thought I would. It's weird. It's different. I like the message. It. I, I don't know how to describe it because for part of it, I was all like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I feel like I need... I need to do another read of this to really absorb all of it because I, I feel like part of me missed some of it but I don't know because I was like really invested especially towards the end so I don't know but yeah we have completed another one and I've been having fun working on TBR board game ideas which don't know where that's gonna go. So part of me wants to keep listening to audiobooks, but like I said, I really need to read Razorblade Tears. So I think I'm gonna put drawing, sketching ideas on hold, and we'll do some reading and annotating for this bad boy so that hopefully I don't have too much that I have to do before the meetup tomorrow. Good morning! It may not look like it, but it is the next day. We are back at it again, and I am desperately trying to finish the last couple of chapters of Razor Blade Tears before the book club. I also obviously need to change at some point. <laughs> But right now, priority one is this. And the problem that I'm having <laughs> is a lot. Is go look at look at these. I mean, like, don't read it because spoilers, but like a lot is going on. And after every friggin' chapter, I want to sit in my thoughts. <laughs> but I don't have time to do that. Um I'm currently on chapter 39 and there are 45 chapters total. Yeah, there's 45 chapters total. So I mean like I don't have too much that I have left to read. Um, but I got to get like chop chop got to get get it going. <laughs> <laughs> because we need to make progress. I also need to finish the TBR jar video, which is mostly done, but I won't be able to work on it until after the book club because I'm not done with this. So that's kind of a bummer because that means if I do get it out today, it's going to be late. I just want to talk about this book. I'm so excited. Okay, hi, hello. I just finished the book club. We talked about Razor Blade Tears. I finished this shortly before the book club. I had so much to say. I really had to like hush up to, to let other people talk. There were so many amazing things. I feel like the TBR marathon, we're making progress. We're doing good. Yes, I am happy. So, now uh, I have several books that are in progress that I'm hoping to complete at least some of them. I think I'm going to hold off as I said earlier on this one. I'm going to see if I can finish this one first and then I'll try and continue these after because I don't have too much left of this. Okay, hi. Keeping up in the spirit of TBR marathon. I am once again not doing what I said I was gonna do. I don't know what it is. It's like every time I tell you, oh, I'm gonna try and do this and this and this, if something else comes up. I need to just zip it. I <laughs> need to keep my mouth shut. Uh, but yeah, I'm about to hop in the shower. Me and the fam are gonna go see the Bob Marley movie, which I'm really excited about. I've got to make something good outside bars. I was on set nearly every day to ensure this story represented my father authentically. Okay, just got home from the movie. I loved it. I loved it so much. <laughs> my respect for Bob Marley has sh shot through the roof. There have been some very favorite songs of mine from him that I appreciate even more, knowing some of the backstory behind it. Like, I loved it. I had to ask my family though, so like how much of that did you understand? Because I went with my white dad and my Brazilian brothers and stepmom and <laughs> they were like, we 
didn't catch a lot of it. And I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, I feel like I got 95 to 98% of what they were saying and what was going on. There was a couple of like mumbly moments that happened where I didn't catch it. Like they were saying things too fast and like the volume wasn't super loud or you know this that or the other but pretty much all of it was pretty easy for me to understand which makes sense because I grew up around Patois and stuff like that and that's one of the reasons why I love Caribbean accents is because it's just very nostalgic for me so I was saying that how I was like I loved it and I want more movies like that but the problem is most people especially if there's not like subtitles most people don't understand Jamaican English right the accent is so strong that most people don't get it uh, even if there's very little patois actually in it anyway I did before going when I, I was in the shower I started uh, the audiobook for a dream so dark so I've made some progress on this so I have more books that I'm in the middle of and we have I don't know how much time hello 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 TBR marathon has continued and we have completed another book modern Sudanese poetry as I was planning to do we did the thing go me <laughs> um so yeah I really really enjoyed some of these poems some of the other ones I felt meh about but overall it was a good experience and I have a ton of poems that I would like to reread in the future and see if I can get more out of them because yeah several of these were just really beautiful I now have four other books to figure out which one I'm going to continue next I will let you know when I am further along in a book and or finished. Good morning. Okay, so it is currently Monday and I have updates. All right, so last week didn't go quite as planned, but I did manage to read a ton of books still. So we're good, we're good, but I still have a bunch of editing I have to do, a little behind on certain things, and I just didn't find myself reading as much as I thought I was going to for the TBR marathon. I did read some more yesterday and this morning. So I finished Lone Woman, which it's funny because I got to a point where I was like, hmm, I don't know how I feel about this. And then stuff started happening and I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm totally on board. I see the hype. I get it. It's not amazing, especially compared to the hype. Like, I don't know. I feel like I was expecting something different. It's not scary to me. <laughs> even though it did have some unsettling things about it, especially in the beginning, it kind of made it seem like it was going to be very scary. And then it kind of shifted into something else, which I really liked, but didn't feel very horror-y to me personally. I don't scare very easily though, so other people may disagree. Take that with a grain of salt. Regardless, I ended up really enjoying it overall and had a good time. I think this would be like a solid or high four stars. Like this was, this was good, especially the longer I sit on it, good times. I then ended up finishing How Beautiful We Were. This one, it felt long, which was kind of a bummer. It does the thing that I'm not a big fan of. We're told this through a bunch of different people and different generations within this village. And I think that is powerful in a sense, but I don't love that method of storytelling. And so it felt like it dragged on quite a bit even though in the end I understood what it was doing and I appreciated it I didn't really love the process personally so if you're a big fan of that the kind of like having all of these moments of individuals this this would be you I, I had that similar feeling for vagabonds I'm not I don't love that storytelling but both of these books I ended up liking in the end but they're not getting super high ratings from me simply because I just didn't enjoy the pro and I kept with this one specifically being all like oh we're only halfway through like I feel like we can wrap this up now like it just felt really really long even though it's not a huge chunker um and then this morning I actually finished the fire next time which I really enjoyed. I really like James Baldwin's writing. These are pretty much essays and it was very interesting seeing how he talked and the way that he brought up certain arguments and, and certain situations and 
overall I really liked the writing. I'm interested to read more stuff from him. The second one did feel kind of long and it felt like it dragged a little bit. I ended up switching to the audiobook so I wasn't highlighting as much which is something that I enjoyed in the beginning part. It's just like finding these nuggets, these beautiful quotes that I just like, oh yes, that really resonated with me which I didn't really get in the second half because I was kind of breezing through it. Uh, but still, I ended up enjoying it and I will read more from him in the future so that is a good sign. Then Saturday we went and saw which you already know the movie the Bob Marley movie I believe it's called One Love and I ended up really enjoying it. I realized that I have this book A Brief History of Seven Killings by Marlon James which the seven killings that it's talking about is the attempted assassination of Bob Marley and so I was like oh I wonder if this is going to go into more details about everything that was going on. That's not exactly what this is. Like this isn't a biography as far as I can tell from the 150 pages into this yesterday. It seems to be more of a fiction based off of the events that focuses on completely different people that were around Bob Marley. It doesn't even refer to, at least in this first section, Bob Marley by his name. He is considered, you know, the, the singer or the, the I shot the sheriff guy or like whatever. I don't know if I would necessarily recommend this in the same vein. I haven't finished it but it is pretty gritty and dark like this right off the bat I was very confused because the first chapter is talking about somebody who is possibly dead <laughs> and is talking about like death and ghosts and dead people and things like that and I was all like oh this is not the book I was thinking it was and then the second chapter I'm thinking and I don't know is possibly the catalyst of one of the shooters where he basically watches his father be assaulted and then murdered in front of him along some other things and so it's very dark it's very gritty and it's not going to be for everybody. Anyway, I started this not finishing it for this video. Probably not even for this month because I, I have some other books that I have to read. I did start A Dream So Dark which is the second book in this series and I am enjoying it. It started off doing the YA thing that I absolutely hate and then we had a moment which kind of flipped the switch and I'm really excited to see how things progress because I was getting a little irritated at first if I'm being honest with you. Uh, but yeah, now I am excited to finish this. Again, this won't happen in this video. Does mean for the marathon Holy cannoli, I ended up finishing 12 of these 15 bucks in seven days. And then in two additional days, I read three more bucks. So we did some things. <laughs> wow. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. We read a lot. We did a lot. It was a lot. <laughs> Look at that. That's a lot of books. Put the Jamaican flag down below in honor of me going to the movies and reading stuff with Jamaican accents. And I will catch you in the next video. Until then, bye! I might be struggling in other areas of my life, but your girl is succeeding in book reading. <laughs>